everyone. My name is Carla Heinert. Uh, I teach middle school ELA and sixth grade religion. A little about me. I was born in the state of North Dakota, was raised there for several years, um, and then came to Michigan. My father was a Lutheran pastor, and we followed him in a call to serve in the Flint area. I went to Concordia Ann Arbor uh, in undergrad and did a double major in English and psychology with my teaching certification. Uh, after that, uh, I took a variety of different courses uh, throughout my career. I've done uh, Spanish work through Wayne State for a teaching endorsement and have in the last couple of years finished a master's degree, master's in science degree of special education learning disabilities. So I'm excited to start this year. Uh, here with all of us. I know it's a little different, but I'm looking forward to it. And it's been great seeing the kids' faces. So a few things that you might want to know, a lot of the information is in our syllabus for my classes, but uh, I teach the grammar and the writing, reading, and spelling. Our spelling words, we'll start with that. They always come from the reading textbook, uh, from the novel, or you know, from the story that we're doing for that week. They'll be posted in the um, family portal, so you'll be able to see either the page uh, or the story that they come from. Each of the classes, because we're not in blocks this year, each of the classes has their spelling pretests on Wednesdays, and the final test is on Fridays. So if they get 100% on their pretest on Wednesday, they don't have to take the test on Friday, and they get 100%. So that's kind of nice. The words are, are usually from a very short list. We'll um, have five spelling words, so it's a very manageable list for the kids to review, and hopefully they'll do well this year on those. Uh, each quarter we'll be doing a reading novel. It'll be a trade novel, a novel that uh, is here uh, that Guardian has, and we'll pass those out to the students, and we'll walk through that together. Some parts will be assigned reading, some might be an audiobook in class, and some might be read out loud together as a class. We'll have a great deal of discussion regarding those novels, and there's usually activities, maybe a study guide or a response journal, and then that will end, uh, each novel will end with the novel test. The students will also be required to take the accelerated reader test for that novel. All of the novels that I teach are AR novels, so the kids will have a chance to work toward their AR goals. Uh, we do have an AR requirement for each quarter. Now, starting out this year with uh, the COVID situation and being able to access books, I know we're still going to have access to those, but it may be a little more challenging, uh, at least to start off with. So I'm considering you know, maybe modifying the point requirements, but on the syllabus for um, the class, you can take a look through that and see exactly how the AR works. Uh, each student will have a requirement that they'll meet and a portion of that, in fact, maybe even half of it is going to be met through, you know, doing well on the AR test for the novel that we've done. I also do STAR testing, which is a testing program that helps to measure reading comprehension and see where students might be struggling. I do that at least once a quarter, usually twice, sometimes even three times. We look for progression as each child uh, gets older and as they work toward uh, mastery of different skills, skill levels in reading and in their comprehension. We do um, grammar lessons. Uh, they come from the grammar textbook, Voyages, and each class has their own textbook for that. They also have their own uh, textbook for reading. Now, um, there are workbooks for fifth and sixth grade reading, but there are no workbooks any longer for grammar. So all of the grammar assignments, when you see those posted, they'll all come directly from the textbook. Fifth and sixth grade reading, however, still does have a reader's notebook, which is a workbook, and we'll be doing uh, assignments from there as well um, occasionally. A lot of those focus on the vocabulary, which is very important for the kids uh, to grasp the concepts and the meanings of those words as we go through our stories. Each class will also have a list of vocabulary words that will be due in Google Classroom on the Friday uh, of the week that we, that they're assigned. And that's very important that they use the definitions from their textbook and not Google those answers because they need to align with the meanings that our book series are using. So you'll see that posted regularly. It'll say vocab from such and such a page or such and such a story. And then the students, 
if they're in seventh and eighth grade, the definitions are right at the bottom of their pages in their reading textbook. If they're fifth and sixth graders, the definitions are in the glossary in the back. So please make sure that your students are using the definitions that come from the textbook. We'll do a variety of different types of writing as well. In five and six, we focus a lot on the creative writing. We start to introduce the more formal writing. And then in seventh and eighth grade, um, there's a much stronger focus on the uh, formal writing. Eighth grade also has speeches. So they'll be doing a public speaking unit as well. Feel free, please, to reach out with any questions or concerns you have. I'm always accessible by the email that you see listed through our uh, Guardian pages. And I thank you for your prayers and enjoy uh, the opportunity to be able to work with your children. So God's blessings to all of you. And please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions.